All right, so the first video in this trigonometry re review series is on degrees and radians. So when you are doing calculus, calculus is nearly always done in radians. Our formulas just don't work and we have to adjust them um, if we're working in degrees. However, a lot of the uh, trigonometry you do in high school does degrees, so we have a lot of intuition about degrees. So one of the most important things to be able to do is to convert back and forth between degrees and radians. So of course we know that in a circle we have 360 degrees and that equals 2 pi radians. So this is the fundamental fact that will allow us to go back and forth between degrees and radians. So when we need to convert, we can just multiply. Um, so what this formula tells us is that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. And so that means that if we start in degrees, we can get to radians by multiplying by pi divided by 180. And we can go from radians to degrees well, we could divide or we could multiply by 180 over pi. So for instance, say I start with an angle that is 45 degrees, of course a very common angle. So if we look on a unit circle, we know this is going to be here, 45 degrees. If we start with our unit circle in standard position, so 45 degrees, if I go back up, I'm starting in degrees. So I'm gonna take 45 degrees, multiply it times pi over 180 degrees. This turns into radians. And 45 over 180 is equal to 1 fourth. So this is the same thing as pi over four radians. Now on the other hand, Suppose I start with an angle of, let's see, five pi over six radians. So what is this in degrees? Well, in degrees, I'm gonna take my five pi over six. I'm gonna multiply it by 180 over pi. You can tell I've probably, and I'm just in degrees now. And so the pi's cancel out. And so 180 over 6 is 30. 30 times 5 is 150. So this turns into 150 degrees. Now I've chosen, of course, these examples to work out nicely. But this formula would work anytime. We just have to be careful about whether we're starting in radians or we're starting in degrees. Mm -hmm. All right, if you need more help with degrees and radians, there are a lot of resources that you can look at, um, but also ask your professors or the QSC for more help. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day.